In this video, we're going to look at how to use AutoWorker, a package or add-on available uh, via Worker Packet Manager to automatically select for us uh, an algorithm or classifier uh, that best suits our uh, problem at hand. We're gonna, it's going to just select uh, the best parameters and uh, give us some output. But before we do that, let's see how to install uh, AutoWorker. First, open your worker, go to tools, packet manager, uh, a window will pop up. Um, so from there, uh, we can see here, you can actually search for the package, but because it's alphabetically uh, arranged, so we have it here. So all you need to do is click on it and then click on install. Uh, in my case, I already installed it. So uh, in your case, you can actually just click on it and click on install, right? You can select this if you don't see it. So once you have that, uh, it will take a while, install it, and then it might ask you to restart the worker. But now you need to, um, uh, when you want to start your worker, uh, I think I recommend you start it from your terminal. So first of all, uh, locate where your worker folder is. Looks like this. Double click here, uh, and then look for this uh, file here, worker.jar. Right. So in your terminal, uh, if you're using Mac, then uh, at the terminal, you have something similar to this, right, where this will be correspond to your machine name, uh, colon, and then the name, uh, your username, and then the dollar sign. So you need to type Java uh, hyphen uh, space hyphen jar. And then uh, you don't need to type. Th this is the address, uh, the address, absolute address where uh, my jar is so all you need to do is click on it and then drop it at your terminal right so you can either do that and then type this just right in front of it so and then you hit enter right once you do that another window will pop up okay so uh, once that window pops up then you might need to uh, open the explorer so in my case here you will see that auto worker appears at the end here so the next thing we want to do here is to open a file. So I already shared with you a regression data set. Uh, you can find it online as well. So in the regression data set folder, um, again, you can choose. So in my case here, I decided to choose the auto price. Uh, in your case, you can choose auto MPG and, and, and just go uh, and look at what it, it gives you. So click open. You can see here I have 16 uh, attributes, right? Uh, 159 instances. These are my observation or training examples. Um, again, we can see uh, as I scroll down here, we have no missing values. I click here, visualize. I can see how uh, the distribution of my features. Uh, we clearly we have some skewed data and we have some normally distributed. Uh, um, you know, features as well. You can see there's some skewness here, skewed to the right, skewed to the right. Uh, again here, kind of hard to tell, but it looks like a skew to the left. So uh, looks like there's a lot of skewness in this data. Anyway, you can perform some data prep. So click on classify here. So I've already uh, selected linear regression. So it's under function. So select linear regression. You can start with the linear regression. And then the first step is to use the training set. So I already did that. And we can see here uh, the test mode here was evaluate on training data, right? And you can see our correlation coefficient was 92.14. Mm -hmm. Then try cross validation with the default here will be 10. Yeah. So that's what I did here. You can see with the default 10 for uh, cross validation. Actually, our correlation coefficient or co coefficient determination square of this actually goes down. So again, this is a parameter. You can try different numbers like three, five, seven. So uh, in my case here with five fold cross validation, I got 85. Actually, this one went down. Uh, and then with three fold cross validation, went a little bit slightly up on the one uh, on the previous. And then I also tried seven fold, uh, not significant change ninefold 87 so again this is one of the limitation of using cross validation you have to select your k fold uh, beforehand it's uh the other techniques of finding the optimum k but again it just you know just tells you how 
can be very challenging to pick the optimal K. So having said that, then go to auto worker uh, and then you just click on start, right? This might take several minutes. So give it some time. Uh, in my case, we can see now after uh, it went through 537 configuration, you know, uh, we were able to detect or deter auto worker determine that my best bet here is to use uh, a type of classifier al algorithm under uh, uh, a class called matter, right? If we go here, it's called random space. If we go here, we can see matter here. Uh, it's under here. You can see actually that's random space. So if we click on this, uh, use on training set and click on start, uh, and clearly we can see this one performs way much better than our linear uh, regression, right? Actually gives us the best uh, performance, right? Uh, again, so this is how to, you know, uh, uh, use auto worker to automatically, and can see a correlation is actually very high. So if I plug it in our calculator and get the R squared, you can see 97%, you know, of our price here is explained by the data in our model, right? Uh, remember, uh, we were looking at how to predict price. If we click edit here, we have all these different uh, features or columns, right? Uh, uh, height, uh, you know, the horsepower, uh, city, highway, MPG. So given all this training example, are we able to determine or predict the price of this vehicle? So basically, this is the task at hand here uh, for regression analysis. So um, this is uh, very high. Uh, I just want to try one more here. I'm just curious to see uh, with a function here, multi-layer perceptron, right? What if I try this? Uh, what happens? Uh, again, so it's almost comparable. Uh, actually, this is much higher and uh, this is very surprising but in your case here you might end up you know uh, because as you can see here it just tells you it needs to try different thousands configurations so uh, but again it, it it just tries different stuff uh, just give it some time for you uh, sometimes you might get a different result so uh, you want to try on auto mpg and see what that gives you okay um, again, that's how to use auto worker. Very powerful add-on uh, that automatically, uh, you know, selects for you the best optimal, um, you know, classifier based on all these, um, you know, algorithms under classifier and, and tries to come up with, with the best combination uh, of parameters for that specific algorithm. All right, so uh, that's it as far as auto worker is concerned. So just give it a, a spin, try different uh, regression uh, files here that you know you can understand, like auto MPG, and 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 you know try different param parameters for linear regression here. You know using training set, cross validation, try different numbers like three, five, eight, nine, and then try and compare you know, the RMSC, you know, actually the best thing to do here is to compare uh, this RMSC uh, compared uh, with also the R squared. Remember, you just get the square for that. Okay, so, and that wraps up our video on auto worker or rather uh, using auto worker comparing with other classifiers that you select manually.